everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a <laughs> Hi guys, this is Sarah. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have my friend Hannah here. Today, we're gonna try and copy a Taylor Swift look, just a classic red lip. So we're gonna see if I can actually pull this off. I'm not a makeup artist or anything. This is just something fun that we're doing today, and we've wanted to do this for a while, so mm, yeah. we're gonna do this. I'm gonna start by using the El Maquillage Foundation and my Araza Natural Beauty Coconut Cream Foundation. I'm not wearing it yet. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, Hannah <laughs> doesn't have any makeup on yet, so. Uh, well, well, she has a little bit of mascara on, but. <laughs> Maquillage foundation. I love this foundation and I recently just found that it had a pump. <laughs> yeah, I like the coconut cream foundation, but it definitely is heavier yeah. than this. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, if this is the type of foundation I really like, um, because I have been using the makeup forever. The um H D mm -hmm. foundation. And it's yeah. good. It's like a similar I feel like it's a similar type of foundation. Um just right. maybe Maybe, well, maybe a little less coverage, but I think yeah. maybe similar. I hear the husbands. <laughs> yeah, you can come over here. She'll make you look like Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'm gonna use my Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer by Catrice. You still doing your video? Yeah, you should have been here for the intro. We str I struggled. <laughs> We'll have to show you we decided to copy a Taylor Swift look. Yes. So we will see. Well, <laughs> husband <laughs> invasion. <laughs> okay. He has better hair than me. It's not true. <laughs> better than me as well. Um, I think you pull off the blonde. <laughs> well, you should you should bleach your hair blonde. Nope. <laughs> that happened in blonde. I don't think I can see it. Cause what about his beard? Like. His That's beard true. is brown and red, yeah. yeah. We're going for a Taylor, like a classic Taylor Swift look. With the red yeah. lips and... There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, it is difficult doing it on somebody else. Like, yeah, oh yeah. Because you know your face, I don't know, maybe it's because you, like, you know your face so well, or... What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun editing this video, though. Oh, my word. I'm going to set the foundation using my Derma Blend Illuminating Banana Powder. <laughs> Who you telling Exciting. me Exciting. <laughs> Probably subscribers. No, she was looking at Will. <laughs> oh, I learned a lot right there. You want to join? That's okay, I don't think Oh, I'm gonna... using the wrong brush. Paul and I are just playing around. Oh, yeah, that would be my husband's phone. <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed that Ulta is yeah. having their 21 Days of Beauty sale. Oh yeah, that's starting, and looks like the Derma Blend um, <gasps> is it is gonna be on sale at the end of March, oh. half off. So I'm totally gonna get some then because I really like I the really yellow like tint this. is really good on your skin. Ever, like since you have that olive undertone, it looks really pretty. I'm gonna use the One Lawless palette. In the picture, she really doesn't have too much going on with her eyes except like a. Um, cat eye effect, so I'm gonna keep the eyes pretty neutral. Just do a basic eye look. And that's like that pearl color in there, and it's actually turning out pretty good. All right, so 
We used the Lancome mascara to do her eyelashes. Next, we're gonna go in with a Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm gonna create just a simple cat eye. That's not bad. Ooh, I wanna see. Ooh. Yeah. I used to wear a cat eye all the time at school. I mean, they look even now, so I say okay. leave them. Yeah, okay, let's just leave it. Yeah. Well, we tried. I'm going to um, brighten up her under eye using the Brighten Up Banana Powder by Essence. This is really cheap. I think it was like $4. Did you get an Ulta? Yeah. Yep. I really like this. Wow, this stuff just really lightens up. It's interesting, like, seeing it actually, like, in person when you put it on. Oh, yeah? Like, the difference. On makes, another person. Yeah. Next, I'm going to contour using the Chanel Cream Bronzer. Here it is. I really like this bronzer on you. Oh, and I'm using my Morphe M439. Okay, let me get this side. I feel like this side has been the struggle for me. Yeah. It is harder to do it on camera too, though. Are you gonna try to contour my nose? Yeah, but I have to use a different brush. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah. Okay. I don't know if I should use this. Mm -hmm. to, that might not be That's a, a good, good point. Let me go grab um, one of my bronzers real quick. Okay, I'm using my Galactic bronzer to contour her nose just a little bit to try and get it to look like Taylor Swift. It's a little more diffused than hers is mm -hmm. because okay. but in here you'll actually in her inner corner she has a good highlight in there yeah so I'll go yeah, no, back I think to that's that. really good I'm gonna use the natural face um, Too Faced palette and I'm gonna use a really neutral blush because in the picture it looks like she has a pretty um, soft blush on so I'm gonna use um, probably this one right here maybe even a mixture of the brown. Let me see. Actually, she's got a little bit of pink in there. It's yeah, very I, I very, see very subtle. Slight. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me try this. If it fails, it fails. It'll still look good. <laughs> it's definitely more than she has on, but it's actually really pretty on you. <laughs> this is what I find myself doing. If I try to copy a look. I like start copying it and then, and then I'm like, wait a second, this looks better. I like this. <laughs> wow, this is more pinky than I think I've ever seen you wear. Oh, really? Yeah. I have a bright pink MAC, one that I sometimes wear. Um, oh, that's a nice color. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light to achieve the highlight look. Oh, boy. He's coming in. <laughs> hey, Paul, your brother's here. I got your quad rolling. You actually did look like this. Wait, right. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to be excited to, like, try to, like, do a picture like that. Yeah. Was that me or you? That was me. That was my stomach. What's it saying? Coffee. No. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm gonna focus a lot right here. I like that's what I like about this is that you can build it and get it really oh, it's intense. Not power, yeah. Or you can get it really natural. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty 
uncensored lip paint to get that bright red lip like this is just a universal red honestly I think this looks good on anybody so I think that that was the closest that I could get to what she's actually wearing in the picture so this applicator is so cool have you ever tried this before no I'm oh, excited yeah I love this Okay, so Hannah went in with this lippy pencil to kind of clean up the edges and kind of get the detail work done. And now we're gonna go in with a gloss because in the picture it looks like she has a little bit of a glossy lip going on on top of the red lip color. So I have two colors here. I have the Lorac gloss. That might have a little bit that one says a tiny bit of pinky. pinky. And then I have, this is, this is a Lancome gloss. Sorry, really to that. Just, that one's heavier. Very juicy. Yeah, that looks good. It's got a little bit of gloss in there. I think you need a little bit more highlight in the inner corner. Mm. Really quick. I do like this red. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Do the whole bangs here. video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!